Hello guys, welcome to Kibera News Network Shows. In our today's show, we are going to talk about why do men and women of nowadays are reluctant in settling down. I'll be your host, Evelyn Awar, and with me here, I have uh, my colleague, Kevin Dambuki, and um, we'll also be with him to discuss this topic. And uh, Kevin, uh, you being a man, also just tell us, why do you think men of nowadays are reluctant in settling, in settling down? So... First of all, I start by saying that in most cases, we do men before like we choose maybe to settle down with someone, we consider our pocket, you know, because nowadays life is like it's challenging. That is if you're not good pocket wise. And so mostly we do consider if you have a well paying job that maybe can take good care of my family. Yeah. And another thing, I guess nowadays some ladies are demanding, like they are so demanding. They want to live a nice life, of which it's nice. I can't blame them for that because it's true that everyone wants to live a happy life. Yeah, and that's reality. But then it's a big challenge to us as youths since nowadays getting job opportunities, it's really hard, like corruption, it's kicking in day in, day out. And you can find out someone has the papers like to get some work, but due to corruption, another person who is not well qualified gets the job. Yeah, so I guess that's what is eating us, yeah, for now. Yeah, what do you think, like, you ladies, why do you like, nowadays, why are you so reluctant, like, to settle? According to me personally, uh, I want to be like, before I settle down, I want to be financially stable. I have my own job and I have my own money where that um, there will be no excuse to someone now to, to start doing uh, st like things that are not making sense to, to you in your, in your life. And just like you said, like most ladies are looking for people who have money, right? Uh, okay, it's not like most ladies are looking for people who have money. It's just like you also, like you want you want a good life. No one no one wants uh, just uh, uh, no, no one wants a poor life. We all want to live a good life. We want to have uh, like where you where you can afford everything. That's why you must look for someone who is financially stable. And you yourself, you must be also financially stable. That's one thing. That is uh, personally for me. And uh, another thing that um, make ladies to be reluctant in settling down, nowadays men are not even serious in the first place. Like, most people are, are just like, uh, hit and run. Let me say something. Like that. That's why you, 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 you will find that we have many single ladies around and many school dropouts because of pregnancy. These are things that led to that. Because men are just hit and run. They just want to get you pregnant and they don't want to, to carry the burden. That's why uh, any lady will just prefer, uh, instead of me just getting pregnant and no one will, uh, will take the burden, let me just first fix my life, let me get a job, let me have my own money so that when I get to settle down I can provide for my family with or without a husband. Maybe I can also provide for my, my kid. Let me say something that, like that. And uh, I think that's one of the things that we look at, I look at personally. And uh, so is there like, what are some of the characteristics that makes you feel like it's not comfortable for you that m women uh, should drop, uh, especially when looking for a guy to settle down with? So uh, I would like to talk about uh, the point that you said about you'd like to have someone who is like good in terms of being financially stable. And to be frank, like, if right now, let's say I'm rich, like, I have, like, good money, I can easily get the kind of lady that I want. Since I've noticed, like, nowadays, a good percentage of ladies do believe in money. And so if I have some cash here with me, I can easily, like, get any lady. And that is what has led to, like, uh, breakups in marriages since someone involved themselves in the connection of marriage due to money and not love 
And another thing, that's why we have the cases of single mothers rising and early pregnancy and all that. Since nowadays, ladies have pressure and I mean peer pressure, like they would like to to have a standard life. Like a lady would like to have an iPhone, a lady would like to live in a nice place, a lady would like to wear fancy clothes, makeup and all that. Of which, in order to be in that position, you should have some cash. And you find out that some of the ladies, they want to be to live like such a life, yet they don't have some cash. So what do they do? They go outside there and look for a man who's rich by the name sponsors. Those guys go by the name sponsors. So you find this lady has involved herself in this kind of love. And after some time, maybe by bad luck, she gets pregnant, you know? And on the other side, the guy only wanted like to hit and run, like you said, like, the guy didn't have any genuine intentions like when it comes to love with that lady. So the lady ends up being single and at the end, it's the lady who loses it all. Since you find in most cases, the guys that are called sponsors, they don't offer that much. Like they don't offer the amount of money that can maybe change your life. You find that they offer taking you out, maybe buying you some fancy clothes and shoes. But in this life, for you to change like your life, you need to have something like a business maybe, something that can bring you money day in, day, in, day out, you see. So you find at the end, it's the lady who loses. So I would like to advise all ladies to be patient when it comes to love. You can have someone who is poor today, but he or she has genuine feelings for you. So it's nice to give that person some time. Like, we don't know about tomorrow, right? So maybe things will change on the way, you never know. And also you can decide to pick a rich guy like for now, but then since you went for money, they like, the love is not genuine. And after maybe some few years, the guy starts like being a womanizer or something. So would you like, would you prefer having like a medium, guy when it comes to financial stability or a rich guy who sleeps with like any other ladies you know yeah so what would you like to say about that okay okay just to support my point and uh, what i meant by financially stable or uh, financially independent is that no okay it, it's not it's not necessarily you must be rich or have like millions and trillions of money it's just like you have a job at least at the end of the day you can bring something on the table and i can bring something on the table and when we add it at least we can make it up to to uh, we can make it to be something great that's what i mean by financially stable not really a uh, rich guy that rich guy no at least you have a job that is genuine job you know and another thing uh, you mentioned like uh, okay you asked me like uh, would i rather have uh, someone who's rich and uh, in discipline but and and someone who is poor but have discipline uh everyone's to have everyone every lady's dream is to have their right man the right kind of a guy that means like someone that you can communicate with in case of there is problem so i'll just go for someone who's medium and uh, discipline so you just know yourself and before i forget something um there, i had this point uh you see the, the thing that we ladies are uh, reluctant in settling down nowadays we want to take our time to know the kind of person that we want to settle down with you know you don't just want to settle down with anyone any person that comes across you know everyone grew up in different background you never know this person maybe he grew up in um in a like in a very abusive background whereby his parents used to fight a lot so the person doesn't know how to respect ladies because he, he all like the picture that was tried to portray in him while growing was that his that ladies should be beaten ladies should be abused ladies should not be respected no th that's why we need no you, we need a lot of t more time to at least to know this kind of person where did you grow up which kind of parents did you grow up with so that at least you can match them 
so that to see if you guys are uh, compatible you understand i don't know how it worked with our parents back then where they by they used to be chosen like the husband like they'll just be told the, the the guy will just see a lady fr just going to draw some water in a stream then he uh, he'll just say that i want this lady and the lady will, will be brought to him and it worked i don't know how it worked but nowadays i don't think if that the trick can work in this century because we have uh, you know technology we have technology which has uh, let's say it has improved and at, at the same time it has de destroyed everything and um, that's why we need a lot of time to, to know someone you need to know that is this person is it is he a violent person is he God fearing is this someone who is responsible for himself and his, and his family so we need a lot of time to know these things so that in case of if you see any red flag in someone you it's you to choose if I'll stay or i'll just drop the relationship you understand so i think okay for me uh for and this goes to every ladies outside there like before you settle down for before you settle down make sure you are personally yourself you are financially stable it, it doesn't okay you don't have to be like you don't have to have like trillions of money so that you can be financially stable no at least you have a job so that you can support both of yourselves you know marriage is a very it's it, it's said that marriage is marriage is like a vow it's a sacred thing. it's something that it should be respected not something it's not kids games that it's not something that you just get in today and then tomorrow you feel like i'm tired of this marriage marriage i want to get out of no, it's not like that. Marriage should be respected. And that's why I take this seriously. That's why at least, I, let me just, okay, that's why at least take your time to know what you want so that you won't go for something because of you. You've seen your friend getting married. You've seen uh, your, um, your your family members getting married. So you, you yourself, you also want to get married because of other, what other people are doing. Take your time. Know what you want. And then just calm yourself down so that when you get inside that place, you know that this is not a life imprisonment. It's not, a, it's not something that you're just going to joke around with, you understand? So let's get to hear from the people from the street to, to, to see what they have to say about this. I'm going to say that I'm going to be a little Kitu inachangia most of them ni wanaume by the way. Ju wanaume ni wanachangia. Ju mtu atakuchukua akai from. Na wewe some few days nakumbu ujui pia uko nje ako aje. Nile tu nakutumia alafu nakuachanisha hapo. Sio ndio nowadays wasichana wanaonanga tu wafadhali wajikalisha wenyewe. Unajua saa hii au wasichana wengi tena sio ukweli. Unapata mtu mmekaa na eh almost kama one man si umesaidia hiyo pesa yako kidogo ya kutumia unampea mahitaji yake saa akitembea tu kidogo ani saa ile akili yake ngali chini akitembea tu kidogo mwingine amuinua akili kidogo kwa kutana na mtume wako na pesa unapata saa amajana wewe sasa ameenda kwa pesa unasema ah, saa hii kazi ndakuwa tu nikio the reason most girls are taking to settle my pema is most of the ladies want to be stable first, no engage into relationship because nowadays relationship put on a value, a person. So stability first, then relationship it a further badai. Na mina dani sasa ju sasa history ama boys awana kazi na ju sasa awana kazi they cannot be able to sasa. They need to be maintained. Uh, okay, we've just heard from what the street had to say about about this, and uh, yeah, and you've just seen, and uh, most of them are like uh, they want to be stable. Nowadays, ladies are not honest or something like that. What can you say about that? And uh, as we conclude, is there anything else that you might want to add that we've not mentioned? Okay, it's by my conclusion, it's so like really hard for you to know this is the right partner for me. Since nowadays fake is everywhere and real is rare. 
And so God really plays like a very big part when it comes to choosing a nice partner for you. Because I've seen good people who have gone bad with time and bad people who have gone good. And so let's just pray before having someone and hope everything will be fine. Yeah. Okay, as I conclude to our topic today, I, I'll just uh, advise ladies, like first take your time, know the person that you want to settle down with. Secondly, put God first. In everything that you do, put God first. You never know what you might get yourself into. Just let God be part of your journey. Let him at least to, to take you through, to know this is the right person for me, God. Now show me show it to me that this is what i want secondly just be financially just like i said earlier just be financially stable yourself don't depend on anyone before so that to avoid these cases like uh they're not market doesn't provide you can also provide this is something that marriage is something that you help each other you don't have to depend on another person to bring it for you at least so that to make it to make the work easier for the both of you and another thing take your time and uh, don't rush it's it's there it's always be there god's time is the best thank you for being with us from the beginning till to the end i am your host hivlin award and kevin damboki bye bye bye